Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the Wear Heart app. That's the one on the Android Play, I mean Google Play Store. And the question how to force synchronizing especially the ECG values. So that can be definitely a problem and I see that quite some people are using that now. I don't know if it's just for one watch. I have one watch. Maybe it's like uh, with a lot of Chinese smartwatches. They are using same app for different watches here. So you can see it has quite some a lot of functions and the most important function of course that's the ECG. Yeah, and here you can see uh yeah how to use that this is how this goes you go to the area and long press and then you have to touch uh, just the upper part of the watch with one hand and do not touch the other arm so it doesn't make any kind of short circuit and at the end it will tell you go to the app but there's a problem when you go then to the app usually the data is not there and this video shows what to do if you don't find it. you see it says go to app and here is how to do here we have the app looks like this where hard i start the video i've been pre-recording that and i'm going to explain you a little bit of course when you go to the app it will instantly show some values the problem is only when you go to the health yeah the health is here you can see that when you click on that which i did and then you go to the ECG. I hope you have been able to see that. And you see there is nothing. I mean, maybe there's loading uh, old data, but not the new one. Even when you drag down, there's nothing. It, it will not do nothing. So what you have to do, go to mine. Here on the bottom right side, there is mine, whatever that means. Uh, probably they wanted to say like my my personal data or whatever and then you have the information about the connection and it says yeah the device is either connected or not connected when it's not connected yeah you have to make sure it's connected maybe bluetooth is turned off or whatever if it's connected and still not uh, transferring data you have to click on that here on this line just click on this line and watch what what will happen i'm going to play you that now you can see when you click here it will say offline data synchronization that's the thing and now you can go back to health click on ecg and this is what then will happen it will download all your recordings or all your data and you should be able then to uh, analyze that so yeah for me it has been working and i hope it will work for you too if you have any questions or comments or better solutions or whatever please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time